Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today um, I'll be showing you um, how to generate GABA file in ADS layout. Now, when the GABA file is generated, it will be used for uh, the milling process, which is basically um, how we fabricate um, your design using uh, PCB. So, uh, basically, all we need to do today is show you how. Um, you convert whatever design you've made in ADS, it, uh, ADS layout. It could be a filter or a core or divider, uh, an antenna, whatever it is that you've designed in, um, in ADS layout. You can actually convert it to GABA file and use the file in your milling process. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing we need to do is uh, launch our ADS. Have my ADS here. You can see that I've done a lot of this uh, design. I'm just going to pick one of my designs. Um, here I pick um, a five pole band pass filter that I've designed. Now, the first thing we need to do to create GABA file is we delete the pins that we actually use for the simulation. I will delete my pins. So now I have uh, my filter without the pins. Now, um, the next thing I would do is to unite. You can see here that I have different elements from the resonator. Okay, so I need to um, unite this to have a single element. So all I need to do is to group, uh, highlight all of uh, all the elements. I just need to have a single layer or a single um, copper um, element. So I'll just go to edit, uh, match. And then union. So I just say okay. So now you can see that each resonator is a single element rather than having several elements. So that's how to uh, group them. Now, um, if you look at the yellow line here, which is the waveguide box, if I turn, if I export this design to um, GABA file the way it is, the yellow lines here will not appear. Okay, but I need to retain this line as the boundary uh, from where I will um, do the fabrication, uh, the milling process. So what I need to do here is to place um, this copper, a copper conductor to place a perimeter around this yellow line. Okay, so I can just well I will place a zero um, zero point one millimeter uh, uh, line with uh, that thickness, uh, a line with a thickness of zero point one millimeter around the perimeter of the design to make sure that I retain this boundary when I export it to um, GABA file. So I'm just going to start with um, a drawing 0.5 millimeter line, uh, 0.1 I would say, of, of from here. Um, so I'm just going to have uh, 0.1. So that's uh, so you can see there it, it's 0 0.1 okay so that's uh, that's 0 0.1 okay i do the same here just need 0 0.1 um, okay so this is just for us to be able to retain this boundary it's not anything special um, so I have to have 0 0.1 here as well. Okay, that's 0 0.1. Okay, I do it. it um, this has to be done around the design. So I'll go 0 0.1 as well here. Okay, that's 0 0.1. And then finally, on this side, again, 0 0.1. Okay, you can see the 0 0.1. Okay, so now I have my design. And then you can see that this, uh, this uh, 0 0.1 Perimeter around the yellow line, so so the yellow line will not appear in my export. 
the, the, the copper conductor will appear as the, as the boundary that will help me in my milling process. So now that I've, I've uh, done this, the next thing I will now do is to export this design. So first of all, I will save. Okay, save the design and then I will go to file. Here you see where it says export. Click on export. And then uh, here I can from the file type, I will select GABA file. So you can see GABA drill. Select GABA drill here. And then um, uh, here you can look at the other options. So here I would like to go with millimeter. So if you are working with inches, then you go with inches. So I'm going with millimeters, that's fine. Now, if you had a multi layer in your design, for my design, I have only a single layer, conductor layer. So you can only see one conductor here. But if you had two, three more layers, you'll find all the conductors here. Okay. Drill also, if you have like um, various or you find information about that here but for now I'm going to leave it the way it is okay now here I'm going to uh, select the destination directory so I'll assume I would like this to be in my document okay so I would like the, uh, the, the destination to be in my document which is where the GABA file will be saved so I'll select this folder and I would like to um, view file after export so i'll just click hide select that button to view the file now just say okay so you can see here that my GABA file is generated okay so um i have this all i can do now is i can change the color if i like what i need to do is select the layer here and change the color if i click on this i can decide double click on it and let's say um give it a green color if i say okay now see that it turns green so i can change it to any color that i so wish okay so after all of that all i just need to uh, i can just save and close this file because i know it's already saved in my document i close all of this so now i can actually close um, this if i want if you go back to your uh, document as uh, i your destination folder for me is my document you can see here that the cover file it's, it's, it's right there so you can copy this file and then uh, send it uh, to, to the lab if you are not the one doing the um, pro, uh, milling process you can use this file for the milling process i hope you've learned uh, something today is can i ask you now to subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't done so already i'll keep bringing you um, different information on how to work on ads Thank you for um, listening and watching this video. I hope to see you soon. Bye for now.